In our recent video about Yellowstone's supervolcano, we learned that there are only three other active supervolcanoes on the planet. But what if I told you that North America is actually home to another? And not just any volcano, mind you, but one with an even bigger history of eruptions than Yellowstone. Welcome back, everyone. Today we're going to explore one of the most explosive volcanic regions in the world, the Yellowstone supervolcano hotspot and its lesser-known neighbor, the Valles Caldera supervolcano. We'll examine how these two supervolcanoes formed, why they might erupt again, and the incredible power that they hold within them. You won't want to miss this episode, so let's get started. The Yellowstone supervolcano is the crown jewel of the Yellowstone National Park, drawing visitors from all over the world who come to witness its geysers, hot springs, canyons, and of course, the Grand Prismatic Spring. It's also home to one of the largest active volcanoes on Earth. Yellowstone lies at the center of the Yellowstone National Park, which encompasses over 2.2 million acres of land. The park was established by Congress in 1872, making it the first national park in the world. It's home to more than half of the world's geysers and approximately 450 species of plants and animals. This includes some rare and endangered species such as the bald eagle, grey wolf, and grizzly bear. But amidst all this beauty and wonder, Yellowstone also holds a darker secret beneath its surface. The Yellowstone supervolcano has had three major eruptions in the past two million years, and scientists believe that it will erupt again one day. When it does, it will be a catastrophic event that will affect not only the surrounding area, but the entire planet. To understand the potential impact of a Yellowstone eruption, we need to take a journey back in time to see how it formed in the first place. The Yellowstone supervolcano is located above a so-called hot spot in the Earth's mantle, an area of unusually high heat flow. This hot spot is thought to have been created when a large plume of magma rose from deep within the planet's core. As the North American tectonic plate moved over the hot spot, it began to melt and this created a magma chamber beneath the surface. Over millions of years, this magma chamber grew and eventually became the Yellowstone supervolcano. The first major eruption of Yellowstone occurred around two million years ago. It was an enormous blast that ejected over 2,500 cubic miles of ash and rock into the atmosphere. This eruption is known as the Huckleberry Ridge eruption, and it's one of the largest in Earth's history. However, despite its size, it left behind very little evidence of its occurrence. That's because over time, the Earth's natural processes have eroded away most of the ash and debris. The next major eruption occurred approximately 1.3 million years ago. This eruption, known as the Mesa Falls eruption, was even more powerful than the Huckleberry Ridge eruption. It ejected over 3,000 cubic miles of ash and rock and created a massive caldera, a large basin-shaped depression that's now home to the Yellowstone Lake. The most recent major eruption of Yellowstone occurred around 640,000 years ago. It's known as the Lava Creek Eruption, and it was the most violent of the three. The eruption column reached 18 miles up through the atmosphere, leaving behind a layer of ash that's now found as far away as Mexico. It's estimated that this eruption alone deposited 2,300 cubic miles of ash and pumice across much of North America. Each of these eruptions played a significant role in shaping the Yellowstone National Park that we know today. They created the park's iconic geysers, hot springs and canyons, and they also led to the formation of the Great Plains to the east of the park. However, these eruptions were also devastating events that caused widespread destruction and loss of life. In fact, the Lava Creek eruption is believed to have killed off all native species within 100 miles of Yellowstone, including many types of plants and animals that had never before been threatened and would never again evolve. It also led to global climate change, causing temperatures to plummet by as much as 27 degrees Fahrenheit for as long as a decade. These eruptions may seem like ancient history, but they have had a profound impact on the world we live in today. For example, the ash and debris from these eruptions have created some of the richest soils on Earth, leading to lush forests and abundant wildlife in the Yellowstone region. Additionally, 
The heat from these eruptions has created geothermal features such as geysers and hot springs, which are home to unique and diverse ecosystems. Despite the beauty and wonder of these features, however, it's important to remember that Yellowstone is still an active supervolcano, and its next eruption could be just as destructive as its past ones. Now let's move on to our main topic for today, the Valles Caldera supervolcano. The Valle Caldera supervolcano is located in the Jemez Mountains in New Mexico. It's about 35 miles north of Albuquerque and 70 miles southwest of Santa Fe. The caldera is about 17 miles wide and 10 miles long, and it's home to the Valle Caldera National Monument, which was established in 1980 to protect its unique geology and ecology. The Valle Caldera was formed by a series of volcanic eruptions that occurred over a period of about one million years. The youngest and largest of these eruptions occurred about 1,500 years ago and created the Valles Caldera that we see today. This eruption was about ten times smaller than the largest eruption of Yellowstone, but still ranks among the ten largest eruptions in the world. The Valle Caldera is home to a variety of volcanic features, including lava flows, pyroclastic deposits, and a large mar which is a type of volcanic crater. The caldera is also home to a variety of geothermal features, such as hot springs and geysers. One of the most notable features of the Valle Caldera is its diverse geology. The caldera is home to a variety of different types of rocks, which provide a unique opportunity for geologists to study the history of volcanism in the region. For example, the Bandelier Tuff is a type of volcanic ash that formed from the eruption of Mount Taylor near the Valles Caldera. The Bandelier Tuff is rich in minerals and has been used as a source of pumice and perlite. The Valle Caldera is also home to a variety of unique plant and animal species. The area's diverse geology has created a variety of habitats which are home to a variety of different types of plants and animals. Some of the most notable species include the Valle Caldera fairy shrimp, a small crustacean that lives in the hot springs, and the Valle Caldera mountains, a rare species of beetle that's found only in the area. Despite its natural beauty and unique geology, the Valle Caldera supervolcano still poses a threat to the surrounding area. The supervolcano is considered to be active, and there is a small risk that it could erupt again. If it did erupt, it would be a major disaster, but the risk is very low. Scientists monitor the supervolcano closely to ensure that there are no signs of an impending eruption. All in all, the Valles Caldera supervolcano is a fascinating and unique place. Its diverse geology and ecology make it a great destination for scientists, nature lovers and anyone who wants to experience the natural beauty of the American Southwest. You can visit the Valle Caldera National Monument, go hiking or camping or simply take in the stunning views. Just remember that you're standing on top of a sleeping giant and you'll be sure to have a memorable trip. So there you have it. A closer look at one of North America's hidden supervolcanoes. While it may not be as well known as Yellowstone, the Valles Caldera supervolcano is just as impressive and just as awe-inspiring. Thanks for watching. Now it's time to leave us a comment so we know which supervolcano you want us to cover next. Will it be the Campi Flegri in Italy or Mount Vesuvius? Let us know and we'll see you in the next video.